Alright guys, I'd like to welcome you to the city where I spend nine months out of the year, and possibly more, coming up soon. This is St. Louis, Missouri. We're going by the zoo, which is, by the way, one of the nicest zoos in the country, consistently ranked. Gotta brag a little bit there. And while I'm on the note of bragging about St. Louis, we're gonna go get the car washed today at a local landmark here on Clayton Road. This is a gas station, formerly part of Standard Oil, then part of Amico, which was the last brand that Standard Oil ever operated in the U.S. before merging with BP. Well, anyway, to stop rambling on, this place up here has the world's largest Amico sign. Not only that, it's also the only functional Amico sign left anywhere. And we're going to get the car washed at the station that it's in. See that? That is one big gas station sign. I know I'm getting way too enthusiastic about a gas station, but still, it's pretty neat. Look at that thing. <laughs> you can see this is a, uh, a real neat historic part of the city up through here. There goes Metro. Look at all the lights that they had to shine up on it too. It's impressive. You can see the Cheshire Hotel down there too. Cheshire, whatever it is. Never stayed there, but it's not a local place. And also the High Point Theater down that way. That does still operate, though it's looking a little bit rougher than usual. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the dash cam. All right, now we're gonna turn over here right near the High Point Theater, and we are going to take a right. I think I know where I'm going. These roads have not really been relevant since like the 1940s. All right, look at this. Isn't this a great historic part of town in here? And somewhere, oh, you can't even get through the car wash that way. Maybe you go around here. Look at this neat gas station though. Isn't this something? We got a little outpost there here. Okay, car wash entrance. Oh, there's a line. Looks like the pay thing is way back here. No dually pickups. Welcome. Please select your payment method. All right, this looks like it's some type of PDQ. Yep, PDQ. I'm going to go ahead and use a card. Please insert your credit card in the reader below. By the way, there's an Express for 7, a Premium for 9, and an Ultimate Rain X for 11. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stick my card in the machine. If it'll take it. Please select your wash package. And I will choose the Ultimate. It's printing a receipt for me now. Please pull forward to the next position. And I guess it's out of receipt paper. So I don't get a receipt. Uh, let's see what we have. It looks to me like we have a... It's a tandem, I believe. I can't really see too well from it. Yep, it's a PDQ tandem. We'll watch the next car go through. Alright, the car in front of us is starting to get cleaned. Ironically, we can't really see too well here because my windshield is too dirty. We're about to fix that problem. But I'll watch the machine at work. So this one just has two moving brushes. One that cleans over the top of the car and one that goes all the way around it. Now the wheel scrubbers in the back might go to work here for us. But no, I guess they do that on a later pass. I want to make sure to film those running since you can't really see them when you're in the bay. See, now you got the big brush over the top, it's coming down on back. And now you got the brush around the side that's probably going to change directions. There it goes. Called it. Now it's going to go ahead and get the back of the car. One thing that's funny, look how much soap gets flicked up on the windows in the bay. Oh, now here come the tire scrubbers. See them down there? One on each side? They're probably going to go for it now. 
Okay, so they blast along the side of the car. Then when they get to where they're going, they stop and go in. And now he's got clean, uh, well, clean hubcaps anyway. Pretty neat. All right, now I'm entering the bay. Got the blasters running here, coming out of the uh, the wheel scrubbers. See, we're at High Point Auto Service and Wash. And now we're going to watch this. And there we go. No floor switches in here. It completely senses it on its own. Alright, now we are being squirted with something. From the front, probably pre-soak, I would think. It's a soap application on there. And the back unit got the rest of the car. All right, and here comes the top brush. I really need this one. If you didn't notice, I have a pretty dirty windshield. Notice all the soap on that window, too. See, this unit also has the dryers in it. Getting a tire scrubbed in the back now, I would assume. Now it's going to blasting. Now it's going to go in for the front. Finish the wheel cleaning. So to finish blasting the rest of the car, and now we are getting what they call color polish. I like to call it tri foam. Pretty good covering. And now we should get blasted with those high-powered ones that are on the rear machine. I can hear the <laughs> the pressure washer running already. High pressure rinse. All right, now we are getting what they call the flash dry, where it rinses off the car and then dries it at the same time. Doesn't that look neat? Watch it as it goes down the whole car. The water's there and then it's not. It's like a little curtain of water that goes down. Now there should be a few more cycles here, I believe. Let's see, yep, now I'm getting my Rain X. Looks like this is dispensed out of some little sprayers there on either side. Gets the whole car quite nicely. Watch how it hits the windshield. <laughs> the guy in the car behind me was laughing at me.
All right, now we have our spot-free rinse. Well, this isn't the spot-free rinse here. That's the final rinse. The spot-free water comes out of this one here. So we can hit with this. Takes the whole car, hits it with the spot-free water, and dries it off. And then the dryer should make a pass with no water coming back, which will basically dry off the car completely. For $11 in the city of St. Louis, this is a pretty nice wash. I gotta hand it to them. This place is in beautiful shape, too. I believe when we pulled in and saw that little island part, that's the original part of the station, and this is uh, the part that they must have added on at some later date. It's interesting, as I bought the top wash, and it looks like it never applied something called surface protectant. Starting the car does tend to help when you pull out. Now you see they leave the dryers running, another very generous option that they added, so you can dry out, or drive out and try to get any parts of the car that are still wet and dried off. Did a very nice job. Look at that, the windshield is spotless. That was the worst part of the car. Now we're gonna pull out here, and I gotta get back onto these crazy streets. It's ought to be fun. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Where did that come from? <laughs>